Hello guys, RCG here, and I'm back with uh, making a mini game tutorial. Uh, yeah, walkthrough stuff thingy. Uh, sorry for my voice. Um, but f before we get started, I want to set up a few game rule commands. I did a tutorial on this, so yeah. Um, um, yeah, I think I will link it in the description. But I'm really bad at remembering things like that, so um, I hope I will remember. Let's let's look what it's inside. Um, it's a keep inventory, so. Yes, do that one. Uh, do the light li cycle. So let's turn it time set. Uh, no, uh, two thousand. Yeah. Then the sun is just up there, so um, it will always be day. It will be really useful. Um, do mob spawning false. So we get don't get any mobs in here. Mob griefing. So if we get any mobs in by spawning them, uh, they won't damage our stuff. And do fire take so fire won't spread. So yeah, that's the first thing. Um, let's get into the next step. Next step is um, what we want to do today. So we last time we built this uh, player selection board, and now uh, we want to select how many players we want to play. So one player, two players, three players, or four players. And actually, you need four here. So uh, start making. Um, y um, you can actually expand this as I told last time. But you do need to make this larger then. So if you've got four players, then make four spaces. Ma if you have three, make three. And all so on. It is infinitely expandable, but we're going to go for four. So yeah. Um, I uh, Let me quick um, do this, and I'll be back in a second. So, back guys. Um, uh, yeah, and I'm in my inventory, by the way, you see the... Uh, stuff we will need. I don't know, some stuff, maybe we'll need some more, but this is what I know. So start with making uh, this shape um, and knock out that block. Um, place some redstone around here. Buttons on here and redstone lands on top. If you did that, then um, yeah, go here behind and place some repeaters on oh normal tick one ticks I think it is and then um, place the blocks on top comparators out of the that side then go out this uh, by the way these blocks will be temporary um, place some hoppers down point hoppers inside of it you don't need that one knock those out and oh, place hoppers into those again. And you will need an item, of course. So get some items and place one item in of each hopper. Wait, let's not do that. <laughs> okay, that's a bit better. Um, so wait with the items. Okay, so you should have that this now. If you click this button, you will see the repeater and the redstone dust turns on. And the redstone lamp does the same thing. By the way, these stairs are... You don't want the stairs, but it looks a bit more pretty because... Yeah, um, it will hide the redstone if you don't have them. It will show the redstone. So, yeah. Or you need to have the buttons on the bottom floor. And that's not the prettiest thing. So I use this thing. Uh, so I'll be, back in, uh, I'll be back in a second with the next step. So guys, for the next step... What you will need to do is place some blocks around here, and you can knock out these blocks. You won't need them. Um, and place a comparator out of here. Uh, sorry. Um, by the way, uh, no, wait, no. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, place some um, blocks right here. And that's what I forgot. <laughs> the redstone torch. So you will need some redstone torches. Like that, and place some redstone torches on this side too. Then, what you need to do is place a block here, place a block there, use a temporary block, repeater, block right there, torch on top. Come on, uh, and uh, yeah, torch right there, block up it uh, on top of it, and some redstone dust. Um, so what I said it was infinitely expandable. You have the limit of 14 because this will run out. So you can use a repeater, but you need a space between it. Um, but I don't see any reason why you would use, um, uh, yeah, you know, 15. 
So now get your items in here and they should get out of one hopper but they won't get back. So if we wait a second, they won't get back, they will get stuck in the other hopper and because that hopper is locked by the redstone. So yeah, that's the next step. I'll be back in a second. So back again. Um, for the next step, place some blocks on top of the torches you placed right here. Um, and these torches are wrong. Are how do you? Okay. So the good um, are here. The good ones. Place some torches on here. And that's basically uh, the whole thing done. The only thing you need is this. So, and I don't know why it's not... La. There, it's working. So what this is, this is a selection board. You can select the player, so if you get a sign, let's get a sign real quick. And say like, one player... La. Play your... And last but not least, four players. Like that. And then you can select like, uh, I want to play with one player. Select it. And then you can, yeah, you select it. But yeah, you won't recognize anything of the redstone. But you still see that you're selecting one player. So when, if one play, player one enters, the game will start. But that's not what is happening. Because there's no connection between this thing and this thing. But uh, if you select two player. <laughs> that was so dumb. If you select two players. The two player will go on and the one player will go off. Same thing for the three and the four players. But still, um, if you want to release your map, you want yeah, you don't want to select one of these already. So what you want to do is you want to turn it off. Just by clicking the button again. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I really, really love it. So yeah, but that's your thing done. Um, but still, we need a connection between those. So yeah. Why not do that in a second? So guys, for the player uh, selection board, like uh, count how many players are inside, we need to place some torches first. So uh, actually, first you need to make this grid. So what you need to do is make this all the way up, this all the way up, and this all the way up. Um, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks um, out. So seven, seven, and uh, another time seven. And then you need, um, yeah, uh, you can see kind of a pattern in it, but yeah, I will just, I will just keep stay in for here. You can watch at it, and then you know. So enough time to watch, to get your redstone touches ready, and place them here, 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 and there, and place one here, here, and there. Uh, by the way, you don't need which one. Sorry. Um, so yeah, for the redstone, place the ah uh, redstone. All the way around here, here, until here. And again, if you want to do this with more, you need to ex see the pattern actually in this, and you need to make a whole lot of redstone. Or you need to find out an, uh, your own pattern. Um, so, yeah, then we get uh, some more redstone and follow it all around. And yeah, you see, like, uh, this is player four, so it's the biggest ring, and then player three is a smaller ring. Player two is even a smaller ring, and one is. Just one redstone dot. Um, then get your repeaters and fill in the last spots. No ticks. And there you have it. And what this will do is, um, this is basically a big AND gate. So if player 1 uh, is in, stepped in, then this torch will all turn off. And um, But the power will still be on here until player 2 is on. And then this torch will turn on. So if you selected two players, then um, we can make another end gate right here, and like two players uh, is are on in the game, in the waiting room. Let's make it like that or, so, or something. And uh, you select the two players, then you can teleport everyone to the arena. And the uh, same works with the three players, um, like this, this, and this. Oh, sorry. And this, and this, and this. And why do you have this? Because you don't want to uh, let a person three to count as person four. And three. So that's why the repeaters are there. Well, oh, that sounds pretty pretty strange. Um, but yeah, that's the this part. Um, so as I said, we need to make a big ant gate right here. So what you need to do is you need to hook all those torches up to those torches. And actually, 
need a block here for the redstone because this is going to be your last end gate and for the ease of it uh, of the building let's do it like this so you have um, all outputs are off right now so you have an output right here you can get rid of those uh huh like that uh, so you have four outputs um, like uh, one player output, two player output, three player output, and four players output. Um, they're all off. So we need to make an another AND gate. What we need to do is we need to, this is player one, one player. We need to hook it up to this one. Let's do it like that. Um, so what do we do? We get some redstone. And this is totally up to you. It, you can do it my way, but I'm sure this is not the most compact way. Um, so yeah, get some redstone and <laughs> hook it up to that one. Use some repeaters and look where the redstone gets. So what helps, by the way, if you build this, select the player. Um, so the redstone is on and you, it's easier with the repeaters. Because if you know the repeaters, then uh, yeah. So yeah, I will do one uh, here on camera. And then I'll do the rest um, later on. And I'll come back to you. So let's hook it up to one add gate. This one is on. And uh, um, wait a second, where is this one? There it is. And then hook it up the red with redstone. And you may need to use some slabs later on. So wait, let's do this more compact because we want to. We need some space for the. Um, for the other wires, because there's four wires, and you need to hook them all up. Up. Sorry. Uh, this is just going crazy. I don't think this is fair. Oh. That item didn't survive it. <laughs> you won. You will never survive the void. And then... ah, One piece of redstone! Come on! So, yeah, you won't survive it either. Let's do it like this, because of the delay. So this one is on, and when we get two players in, we, we can order two players. Two players. This will turn off too, but those will keep on... Wait, we need only need one player. <laughs> Let's quickly reset the system. One player. So the one player is on... Okay. Okay, we need this. Um, one player is on. Sorry. Um, the one player uh, button is on. So what we need to do is hook it up. Sorry for all those misplaced torches. <laughs> uh, can we do this? Yeah, I think we can. Yes. So we, uh, if we didn't, uh, um, so let's place a torch in here. So we'll keep on. We have one. Pl um, um. No, you do need a torch. Sorry for all all that. <laughs> I am so good at redstoning sometimes. Like that. Um. Come on. Okay, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> back to business. Um. I came out that it was actually right to place the torch right here. So go along and place it on here, and it will be, this will make a uh, really small end gate. Um, and if we want to make it smaller, which I want, because I want to save as much space as I can. So this torch will turn on. I have one player selected, so don't worry. Um, so I selected one player. Did I? Yes, I did. So this torch will turn off. And this one will too, because there's one player in the game. So this torch will turn on, and you can make your um, whole network of command blocks you want to do. I don't know, maybe you want to give them some armor um, to the... Yeah, I don't know, but you can do it all there. Actually, what I want is just to give it TP, TP command and TP them to the arena. So I'll do the rest of the wiring, and I'll be back. So, um, I didn't place the wiring just yet, but I want to give you... a few quick tips on uh, the redstone. If you're here with the torches, you don't want to place blocks all along to keep the redstone from connecting with the rest. So what you can do is use this technique, because redstone torches can give power to 
everything that's around it except for the block at the back. Um, so just do it like this and yeah, then you can hook up the redstone right there. So yeah, that was just a quick tip. I'll be back soon. So guys, back. It's finished. It's all done. Ready for testing mode. Um, I put some command blocks down here to say um, 1, 2, 3 or 4. Like, yeah, you know why. You will notice. And it, this looks like a big mess, but if you follow up my video, it will look just the same. I managed to do it uh, without repeaters. So it works, uh, yeah, just nice. No extra delay. Um, yeah, that's basically uh, everything. Um, one uh, other thing um, is I changed this um, to, I don't know if it already was this because I changed it back and forth again and again and again because I couldn't figure it out. But it's now uh, just a piece of redstone and it's in the, to a torch. So um, all outputs are off. And if they get like with this AND gate or with that AND gate or with another AND gate like this one, um, you can delete this one. <laughs> A week, I can. Um, both torches should be off if the whole system is off. Um, if there's one player uh, on, only this will be off, this torch. Two, this one, this one. Uh, it, it looks just like a big mess, but it will be just fine. Um, I don't know if I told you this already because this is so many time I record this part. But um, this just says uh, which number it will be. So let's head back and test it. And now we selected one player. Because it's working. Torch 1 is on. So uh, here this torch will go off. And um, if this torch go goes off, this line redstone will go off. And this will go on, which will tell us 1. So we'll say one, <laughs> and then we know it's working. So one, and this one is the fastest one because it's quick. But the second, third, and the fourth should be at the same um, delay. So if we enter the second person now, it will say two. If we enter the third person and select three, it will say three, and we'll say four if we do this. Beautiful. Um. So the, here's the big question. Um. What happens if you, for example, select three players and the third player enters? Well, nothing! Isn't it great? And if player one enters then? Nope. And if player two enters, then the game starts. So yeah, that's uh, everything explained. It was a tutorial for today. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked. And um, if you want more of this, then uh, please leave a like or a comment or subscribe I love those things to say I love to say those things and uh, as last time I will just do the, some decoration off camera so you don't have to look at this plain acacia wood uh, stuff um, because yeah you can do some lovely things with acacia wood as you see right here um, yeah so I have one thing to say I'll see you next time guys Bye. Bye.